is Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Tito's Bros series and we have expanded. The commune of Tito has grown and it is glorious and impressive. So, our next objective will be to take out Corbin's commune. If I'm not, if I'm, if I'm correct, I think it's just the UK. It is just the Union of Britain. Okay, so there's a slight dilemma. They have a lot of planes. I mean, a lot of planes. But they're scraping the barrel, and they have three million men left. So what's gonna probably gonna happen is they're gonna run out of manpower before they run out of planes. It does appear they're bombing us quite aggressively in the UK, so I don't know, we'll see how things go. Uh, the AI isn't too smart when it comes down to using its planes, so we'll just see how things go. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. We will see. And go here and here. Alright, let's resume. So we've integrated Spain and France. We're losing this little bit of land here because it was uh, part of France in China. Bit of conflict happening in uh, Africa. This bit of snake in Sudan, Egypt is still owned by the communes. Okay, let's have a little look at the numbers here. So we're going to have to sort this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, there's a lot of planes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The hot key to remember here is D. Because D is split. Am I wrong? No, it is D. Yeah, D. Oh, and it literally... Oh, okay, that's doing not what I thought it would do. It actually splits them in half. I know you're probably thinking, oh, well, duh. But I expected it to kind of just deselect half of them, but it doesn't. Okay, that's not what I expected it would do. Okay. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't usually puppet and form my own factions. The reason why is you're probably going to see in a moment where you run into this very annoying thing where the AI just refuses to micromanage the troops that you've got. What's this? This is bombers, isn't it? Okay. They are bombing a little bit into Germany too. We will take out Germany. Okay, so our objective is going to be to eliminate all of the factions. That is going to be my objective. We've got the Bear Block. We've got the Europistan. We've got the European Urinal. We've got the East and West uh, takeaway teams. And then we finally have the two factions here, the KKKKK and the FFF. Ah. How is it going? I love watching. I love the new air system. I, I've, I've talked about this a few times. I really, really love the new air system. It's so fucking good. It's so sweet that you get to see all the numbers now as well. Oh, I think that's so epic. I'm sorry, I really love the new air system. We're still over capacity here? What? And strategic bombing. 37% are getting disturbed. We've got an airbase here. Um... So... You probably should have plan an invasion, shouldn't we? Oh, we were planning... Oh, we've got rover capacity. Um, can we just shuffle you guys all over here and then exercise you? Where are you guys going? Oh, these are the uh, Hungarian troops. They're kind of going around the Horn of Africa. Oh, and they're going here. I don't care. Let you guys go. I'll let the Hungarians take care of that. Okay. So, we've got these new divisions here. Um, I think I'm just going to land into the UK. I love this spot because you get to grab Portsmouth or Dover and also shift up to London as well. It is a nice spot. Alright, let's go. 
Need a bit of steel. I think we have reached peak steel. Oh no, we've not. We've got friends now, haven't we? Obviously, so that's not going to be a problem anymore. French commune. There we go. Look at that, boys. Beautiful. Suppressing subjects too, so we're meeting them in the middle. That's good. Uh, there's not an advisor we can go for. Navy. None of those are useful because we've only got subs, haven't we? Having a lot of trouble with super heavy tanks, aren't we? Oh, because we added the super heavy tank on, didn't we? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We should probably do that. Oh, yeah, and we can't exercise because we're going to lose the super heavies, aren't we? And we need maintenance teams. Ah, uh, shit. Never thought of that. Damn. Oh, we do have maintenance. Okay. I forget it. Who cares? We're at such a late stage of the game now. It doesn't even matter. A little bit behind on the motorized. Modern tanks are behind as well. Really? Alright, we're behind on everything. Well, the maximum we're allowed. Why are we researching heavy anti-tank? Is it because we've run out of things to research? Oh, I always forget that. We always reach end game, and I'm always like thinking to myself, there's something really important that I'm missing, and it's always the amphibious landing transport techs. Ugh. Oh, what do we have here? The French fleet and the British fleet. Um, can we maybe help you guys out? Couple of them in the air, boys. That is a lot of tactical bombers. So, I can't wait for them to overhaul the naval interface as well. I can't wait for the naval interface to become a bit more visual. Because it's very difficult to see what's attacking what. It'd be really nice to see where the planes are hitting. Every now and then you see the organization drop and the strength drop. And it's one of the planes has hit one of the ships. But it's just not very visual, so it's kind of difficult to... Okay. Well, kudos to the Italians. That was a nice landing. They managed to get a nice beachhead. But... Oh, shit. Wish there was a way of... Oh, you can't... Can you do this? There you go. A lot more boats now. Oh, sunk a carrier. Nice. What is this? Is this is a tank division. <gasps> it has artillery battalions and anti-tank battalions. My god, the, the cheat build. Okay, it looks like we're doing actually a lot of damage here. We're hitting... Oh, no we're not. A lot of our um, planes are getting intercepted. Um... Planes lost to anti-air. We're losing a lot of manpower in air wars at the moment, which is a bit annoying. I just wanted to get a few of these off green. I think we've got too many divisions, to be honest with you. Can we kill off a few of these? Are we making motorized? We're not making enough, though. Okay, we'll be able to catch up on that in no time. That's literally going to be about two weeks and we'll catch up. Making the fighters still. Do we need the fighters? I think we've got a lot of fighters, haven't we? Fighters. A thousand. Uh, not that many. Not as many as I would like. We are literally the Titoist Puppet Master. Okay, they're encroaching a little bit here, which is kind of annoying. Got lots of medium tanks. Damn. Actually, when you reach this stage of the game, medium tanks become a bit useless because they're pierced by everything. So it's 
It's not that great. Oh, we have Aussie troops here that are kind of stranded. I think we can make a landing over here now. Where's our navy? We need to position ourselves at Brittany. No, actually, no. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to Brittany still, but just that one of the lower ports. Yeah, this fleet's going to be useless. The whole purpose of it is just to kind of distract while we make a landing. Ooh, damn, son. Is it different? No? For some reason, our air force isn't engaged in this. Oh, but there's a lot of ships here. That's the brilliant thing. It's kind of a bit of an exploit. But when you puppet a nation that has a big navy, you literally get the whole navy for free. It's really OP. Oh, he's grabbed a port. Shall we help him out? Oh, balls to it. No, no. About to die. No, I don't want that to happen. Okay, we need to wait for this tech. Oh, it's going to be a while. Okay, let's just drop off two of these. We catched up on everything else. Modern tanks a thousand behind. 500 super heavies, motorized. Oh man, we're behind on everything. We need maintenance here. This needs maintenance. Uh, okay. And they're counter-attacking here with tanks. That breakthrough pushing them back to the beachhead. Bombers. Uh, the bombers will be okay. Decisive battle or convoy raiding. We have to go for convoy raiding. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. What do we have here? Do we have a glorious opportunity? Uh, escort here. We run out of convoys. No. It is time, gentlemen. Oh! Come on, we arrived there in time. There we go. There we go. How are we... Okay, I was about to say, how do we stay under the supply limit? I have no clue. There we go, and I think the breach head will be... Made now, it's going to push some of these heavier tanks out of the way. And we are done. Now we do this. Close air support, go here. Really? Come on, dude. That's so frustrating. Like, you drop a, your air wing here, and it's like, just goes over the limit. And if you go over the limit by one plane, that's a hundred percent penalty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, that's it. The glorious British commune has fallen. And we're actually under the supply limit, surprisingly. How the hell I'll never know. Uh what? None of the roads are broken? Is this owned by... France? A puppet will not give us control of the state. What the fuck? They're our puppet! Oh, never mind. I will not talk about the puppet mechanics. To avoid triggering myself. I love this. Look, we're, we're pushing into them. We're managing to push them out of the way. Just because we've got insane breakthrough. That's how awesome. And the Union of Britain has fallen. Wow, I cannot believe it. And we're going to take pretty much the whole world now. They must have had really low national unity. In a normal Hoi 4 game, national unity of Britain is something like 90. It's very, very high. I see a pattern forming, gents. We seem to be a satellite. Oh, we've run out of points. Is that it? Liberate the brain, Britain? Uh, 
Why are these drop downable, but I can't do anything with them? I guess I have to take these. I guess I can return them. So when the comments told me that communism is really against imperialism, so the idea of a communist colony is bullshit. So I don't understand why I'm taking land in Britain. What the hell? I thought that I'd, I might have to release it as a puppet. There's going to be some pieces of land I won't be able to return. I know there will be. It feels kind of strange to me how, like, not every single piece of land in this game can be returned to a sovereign nation. It seems strange to me it's like land that just sits in limbo and doesn't really have an owner as such. That's just like a colony state that never gets owned by anyone. I, I know I know they do own it. I know, like, British Empire owns lots of land, but it seems strange that you can never release it or give it to another nation, you know? It's like permanently uncored, never coreable by anyone. Yay, we did it, boys! We did it. And now we need to release some nations. Release Albania. No, actually, Albania is our core territory. Malaya, return territory. Malaya? Oh, yeah, yeah, Malaya, yeah, yeah. So, return Malaya. Return Ireland. You guys, we have unified Ireland. Return Yemen. Return Egypt. Release, release, release. There are core territories. And that's it. How come we can't release Britain, though? That's really confusing. Guys, I have no idea why, but I can't release Britain for some apparent reason. Don't know why. I don't know. Okay, so here, here, here. All right, is that, are we at war with anyone now? Chinese, Japanese war, American, Brazilian war. So let's have a look at the world, my boo my dudes. So Venezuela has left the KKKKK. Um, the United States of Central America is becoming disintegrated. That's pretty much it. And it looks like the Chinese have taken Korea. So that means the, uh, pretty much the Eastern takeaway tag team is no longer a tag team, it's just solo. Solo. Ooh, they have a lot of divisions. So, our next objective is going to be take out the European urinal. So, let's prepare for that. So, I think it might be a good idea to just... I feel this is a little bit overkill, but you never know really, do you? We have a bunch of new factories that we just don't really want to use. Well, I don't want to use them anyway. Uh... The problem is, is I assign these factories to different construction and we end up in a situation where I'm going to end up importing more resources. I don't really want to do that. Uh, We'll make a few more lines because I imagine someone's going to be screeching them in the chat going, Dave, spend your money. I will. I will. I promise. Super heavy tank, yes. And a modern tank, yes. And a self-propelled artillery tank, yes. There we go, we spent all our points. We need lots of chromium from Turkey. I can't believe it, guys. We're now self-sustainable from our colonies. What the hell? This is awesome. Actually, we don't need to do that. We can get all our oil from... Our puppet, can't we? Oh, this isn't our puppet! Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. I probably shouldn't have returned that land to them now. Whoops. I love the Greek flag. The Greek communist flag. That triangle. <laughs> Alright, boys. This is it. Yep, okay. I was just checking if there wasn't any wars going on, and there isn't. 
So we do have control of Latvia as well. And also Ukraine. The buffer bad boys consists of Lithuania and Austria now. And they are not... Oh, they're not very strong at all. They have zero divisions. They have two in total. Both Latvians. Okay, so we need to get some oil. So we'll get that from Romania. And Iraq. And Canada. There you go, done. I never knew Canada had so much oil. Looks like they've made refineries. There's also that 38 they get from National Focus as well. Okay, how are we doing? So we're behind the moderns and super heavies. Okay. 143 days and 179 days. Eep. Guatemala has been annexed. Where's Guatemala? Oh, it's here. They've pushed into Hyor. Just a wee bit behind on rubber now. I think I can live with that. Now get a wee bit from Malay. We'll make sure we're topped up on everything. There's a twenty percent boost to construction of air bases if you go for con construction engineering. Air base. Oh, it's ten percent. Okay, I thought it was twenty percent. I think that will be worthwhile. So I think we'll definitely do that. Yep. Yep. How many tactical bombers do we have? A lot. I feel like I want to make two fat wings. Boom and boom. I want to smash into Germany because... I know that they're going to be the only major power in this war. I keep adjusting my volumes. Never happy. Uh, I don't think I was research researching that for any reason. No. Super heavy tank destroyer, piercing of 170, armor of 145. Self-propelled artillery, super heavy, 122 soft attack. And there's the anti-air. Has decent piercing, 100 armor. 50 air attack. I don't even know, because I don't really understand air attack. I don't even know if that's a big number or not. Is that a big number? I don't know. Oh, great Italian divisions that I would never use. Alright, how long until we're done? 52%. Alright. Should we go for strategics maybe? Because we've got a few nukes. And truthful as well, at this point, we should start make in jet tacticals. Ah, oh, that drops the reliability, doesn't it? I don't want to do that. Two off, two on. Yep. So this requires a considerable amount of tungsten. I realize I'm not making the Mark 1s. So we're only making one line of fighters now, so I actually like that, that's good. Tungsten from India. What? How much tungsten has India got? Wow, I never knew they had so much. Learning new things about the game, guys. Only a thousand hours into the game, I'm learning new things. Um... Just do that. Gloucestershire, Cornwall, Greater London, Sussex. No, I'm not bothered repairing those. Do I even really want to? I think we'll just do that to prevent landings. I'm not really sure how effective that's going to be, but... It'd be nice to have a button here that splits off some of the older models. That'd be really cool. 
Paradox, get on that. That would be really nice. They're probably already aware of it anyway. Okay, self-propelled artillery tanks. We don't need those anymore. I'm going to switch those out to super heavies. I want to make a variant of the super heavies that aren't so slow. Preferably at least four kilometers an hour so they can go at the same speed as infantry. 73%. So, let's have a look a little bit around the world. It does appear like the United States has landed on Colombia. Taking out Guatemala. Cuba has joined. Cuba has 67 divisions. Damn. Bulgaria wants to give me divisions. Nope. If I go for... No, 240 days. So... It does look like we're going to be attacking eastward, doesn't it? And it's probably going to need logistics. Oh, we have logistics. This is reducing by 40%, isn't it? So, this is a very supply-intensive division. There's nothing here that I need. I have to sit on that political power, aren't I? It's surprising that when you don't release a nation, it doesn't like drop world tension or give you political power or something, you know? I just realized that Greece. I don't know what's going on there. Um, okay, radars. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect them to be this much radar. Okay. Um. Oh, because it's their radar, I can't even build up to their level. Oh, that's really shit. I'll build one here then. I'm not bordering the urinals, am I? No. Well, actually, I kind of am here, but eh. Okay, we are fabricated on Germany. Guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. Always drop us a comment below, guys, if you want to know more info on the game or whatnot. I reply to most comments. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.